So for 2012, our TC250 got a pretty hefty update. The bottom end is actually extremely simple compared to most Japanese brands. It's almost about as basic as a two-stroke motor, which means a lot less reciprocating masses, a lot less weight, means a lot higher revving motor. Um, one of the things we updated for 2012 was we got a new piston with increased oiling on the front and back of the skirts, a domed piston to increase compression, and then we also went to a new head design. The guys over in Italy really took their time and got some really good information from some of their F1 engineers and they went with bigger valves and really lightened up the valve train to really increase the power and performance of our 250F. Also the new intake track matches up to the new key and injection system which made our bike really come alive for 2012. So some of the absolute basics of a bike, you know, you got you know, your, your crankshaft and your piston drives everything down here. So basically the powertrain goes, you got your, your primary gear drives your oil pump and then it also drives your clutch which is going to be then transfer the power from the crank into the main shaft. From the main shaft it mesh, then meshes with the counter shaft which is on the back side of this shaft here. And then to actually engage those gears you have your shift shaft mechanism. This will actually actuate from your foot through this shaft into a what they call the shift drum, which then puts you into whatever gear you're selecting.